All right, hello everyone. Welcome to the Act 5 playthrough of um, the Leveling Summoner Guide Process Thingy. Um, warning, it will have some spoilers. If you want to stay spoiler free, just don't watch this. There's nothing too special anymore to see in Act 5. We just picked up the spell echo. Um, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much about um, summoning the Kitafas Heralds and just going through it, right? There's nothing really too special in that anymore, so you don't need to watch it. But if you do, uh, keep in mind, there's gonna be spoilers. So let's just jump right into it. This is the Ascent, and um, this is actually a relatively easy zone. But, um, can be a little... Ooh, the Venigos can actually be quite dangerous. Uh, because they use focus strikes. Oh, interesting. Oh, the gold ring. Never mind. Um, not useful at all. So here's the uh, last part of the ascent. We're going to be soon reaching the teleport device, and with that, we can teleport to Act Five. Um, Act Five has some really dangerous mobs, so from this point on, you should probably grab at least like one or two more life nodes if you can. Of course, we already grabbed most of them, so we, we really can't. But um, yeah, it would be really useful. Like we can only grab this one, but if you if you didn't grab them, you should have them all at this point because stuff is gonna be really dangerous uh, in here. Um, so here's the overseer's tower. So you will want to try and walk around it if you can. Um, or I'm not here, but uh, like, damn it. Whereas you can see uh, the overseer. Uh, waving at you at some point, I, I believe. But yeah, as you can see, these guys are actually quite dangerous already. Um, it's quite sketchy. Uh, let's cut this mana node here. Jesus. Yeah, that's a sad. Especially as a summoner, because uh, there's a lot of stuff these guys can thunder off of. Like the explosions will uh, shotgun you and stuff. So it can be a little bit uh, tricky. So that's why you want to focus on life is, if possible. Uh, yeah, I think this is the Overseer's Tower. That we want to walk around that one. Uh, sorry for my mistake earlier, but yeah, it's uh, it's still a relatively straightforward zone. It's just hard to fall. Um, you do want to try and not be too underleveled because you really, really do want to be like at least level 41, 42 when you fight Kita Alpha. Should be near in the overseer soon. Yeah, it's here. He's using his uh, storm burst stuff. There he is, and now we just wait for the stairs to come down here. 
Um, yeah. Huh. All right, uh, we don't need to talk to anyone just yet. Just go straight into the control box. Um, so we keep on the on the, the right side, the left side. I mean, here to make sure that we can get the um, Mayas meter for the for the quest, right? Because um, we get uh, rewards for that, and because it's not like really out of our way, like only just that little bit. Uh, it's it's just really useful to just pick it up right here and just jump back over like that and then you want to start going like straight to the northeast side if possible um, because uh, well there's the the guy there uh, the exit to the temple or the the rune no not the rune courts the the Oryov Square, the Oryov... yeah, something like that? I don't remember the name, I, I remember it as the Rune Square because that's what, where, what it is called in the... After you kill Innocence. Uh, Alright, we found these two. Grab, no not that, this one. And... We'll start going for the Spectre nodes now. Because we'll need that at the end of this act. So yeah, here's the guy that you need to kill, uh, Justicar Casticus. He has this like thing where he starts channeling, and you can just deal a lot of damage to him when he does that because he doesn't attack back. So yeah, and then we go to. This way. The Templar course is where we need to go, uh, but we go through the square. Uh, so much body blocks, it's just a really tense zone here. It's, I, I really don't like this area because it's just so hard to move through. Silver coin? Not that we use them, but you want to pick them up anyways. If you're like in a the Oryav Square. Yeah, if you're, if you're in a league, you want to pick them up anyways, because silver coins are going to matter a lot, and in a leveling process, you're going to find a decent amount of them, and it's really just worth picking them up. Especially now that they're uh, changing the... Um, what do you call it? The prophecy, the, the, the pale court rewards, and the, the chains for it. But Lam, Lanny... Um, let's see, this is... This is the worst one, right? Cold fire and lightning, so it really doesn't matter. Uh, but it's cold and fire, I think, that I need the most. Let's just check. The butter? Let's see. It is better. Alright, interesting. Um, I think we want to quicksilver here. See if we can uh, roll bleed on it or oh, freeze. That's also really good, right? Um, yeah. Cool. And we need to talk to Valenta here for the skill book, which gives us another skill point towards the specters. That's why we grabbed the Maya meter right away. Mm -hmm. 
and then here you want to go upwards and just go straight this direction afterwards. You'll need to cross a bridge after this uh, whole big square thing. There's gonna be a boss in the center of this square, but you'll want to try and skip it. Because there's just so many mobs here and you want to guide back a little bit because the more you can uh, accidentally kill the better of course. Jesus! Oh yeah, that's the boss. Do you want to skip that? Especially if he's uh, possessed. Now the wrist is gonna be here. As you can see. And as I said, stuff here does a lot of damage. Level 42, we're 38, so we're not even that under leveled, we're just, we just don't have a whole lot of life to work with. That's mainly because we have pretty bad gear at this point. There's like almost no life on our gear, so yeah. Uh, blue maps? Let's put down our skeleton in here, see if we can get some distraction down. Oh, green mail. Only we didn't need the green sockets. So here's the Templar Quartz. And this one is like, it goes in a, in a circle, kind of. Like you go up, then you go... Like, you go a little bit like... Uh, how do you call that? Like, you go north... Like, northeast first, and then eventually you can go... Start going like... Southeast, and then you have to go uh, southwest. Basically. Um, but it's pretty recognizable when you have to go... And change directions. Also... Holy shit, stop harassing me so much, man. That's so much mobs. Um, like you come, come across uh, this, these rooms here and then you will notice that you'll have to go the other way then. I believe it's uh, from here on out that you have to go this way. After we kill Innocence, this is gonna be even harder because the the Kitafa mobs deal so much more damage than the Templar mobs. It's gonna be really hard to deal with. But um the more damage you get, the easier it gets because you can just burst all of the mobs down. In all honesty. And here's the Chamber of Innocence. Make sure to grab the waypoint here. At least the mobs here are slightly less dangerous because they're all elemental and we do have almost kept resistances. As you can see. And after we level we get even higher resistances here. Um, because pure development is about to level again. Uh, we need to go this way. This is also like an arc. This area. It's... Um, Because like uh, Innocence is like in the center and once you defeat him you will get through a back door and then you will end up at the start again. It's like a big 
circle area. Holy shit, though, that's... Uh, I don't know what to do there. I can't just go forward there because there's too much mobs there, too. Jesus. Yeah, this is, like, a really hard area for a uh, act if you don't have a lot of life. And that's a big problem about leveling as, like, witch, is that you're not gonna get a lot of life. Like, sure, they made the improvement that you get life here, but... What do you do after that, right? Anyways, I think I'm gonna drop these Cosby notes already and just start going for here for the minion life notes and then get the Spectre notes earlier and then we can go for the life notes with the resistances on it. At least we still don't... Uh, lose uh, experience in Act 5. You start losing experience from Act 6 onwards. Of course in Hardcore you want to play a little bit safer. Try and focus a little bit more on getting better gear. It's just... I haven't been getting much gear. Not like we have really... Okay, I have been getting like really high life gear, but I wasn't really able to use that. Fusing us. Can use that. I think we're almost at innocence here. Yeah. Good. Uh, also, I think I should have slotted in Spadico somewhere. Right? But we haven't been able to really yet. Holy sh! Shitballs! You are so fast! Get out of here! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Jesus Christ. Alright, he should go in his first half phase soon. Dodge that because it's Way too squarey. Make sure to keep our uh, mana regeneration up here. I mean, you can portal out of this phase, but we don't have any portal scrolls, so. Rip. Then he should die at this point. right now we can summon our stone golem here have to dodge that make sure to walk around here he's gonna try and hit us but I'd rather have him not do that all right first half phase Cool. Uh, also, wow. All our zombies are dead, basically. Let's send them back. Should 
Should go in a second ad phase at this point. Please. Second ad phase. Yes, nice. Alright. Shit. And that should be him. Yes, good. Boots should be it. Alright, Sin, where are you? I don't know if I need to talk to Sin here, but I'm gonna do it anyways, generally, so it's fine. Uh, let's make sure to talk to Bannon here. Don't know if that's necessary. Then we go back to town. We talk to Lanny for our violent dad. Oh, hey, I wonder why. Attention, 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 no, I want to sell. Items. Sure, that one is bad item, that one is a bad item. Cool. Um Definitely gonna see if we can get the need to bleed on this. Uh, for now we can't, but whatever. Um, also, buy two offhands for gem leveling. And we continue. Still at a really low life. Number, totally. Thingy. So, we're gonna do all optional quests, but not all optional quests in Act 5 are necessary um, at this point. Like, uh, ooh. yeah, we do want to keep that one around. So yeah, now everything becomes heretic and stuff and dangerous. And uh, these guys are actually really dangerous uh, zealots for some weird reason. And we really need more strength and dexterity. But at least with six zombies, it's a lot uh, safer to move through because the zombies do block a lot of stuff. Alright, let's lock it in uh, the violent death here. I could buy the second one, but I'm gonna keep this as close to uh, the real 3.0 as possible, and where you don't get your, that second jewel, you can just get one and there's no vendor. But I believe they're gonna make it so that every class gets every threshold jewel. So that they don't need to like... Mule stuff and stuff if, if they uh, want to get one of the jewels that they need. But like if they want a second one of course then they'll need to mule or buy or whatever. So yeah, uh, wow, well, okay. That is a boss. I've not seen that one before. Interesting. Ooh. That's some damage and I would love on a stone going to be with me. Let's read some our zombies. They kind of die to that boss. Like, really hard. I think we should almost be at the end here.
Mine's are already level 40, that's not too bad. Ah. But yeah, especially here it's gonna be a little bit dangerous. A lot of these mobs deal a lot of physical damage. Especially the ones that will come out from the uh, piles of rubble, the twist effigies like those. They deal a lot of damage, to be honest. Ooh, Orb of Alchemy. See us there. See an Augmentation Orb. Still not okay. Interesting. Still not okay. Interesting. Still not okay. Interesting. Uh, need an Augmentation Orb again. Cool. It's fine for me. Um, yeah, so they kill your zombies quite often because they do a lot of physical damage and it's really just not balanced around having 1k. You probably have like 1.2, 1.5k life here, preferably. Um, then we go here and then there's the waypoint. And we have to go into the ossuary to get the sign of purity, which we need to, you know, defeat Kitafa. He's gonna defeat us, but you know, we, we, we can fight him. We, we we can try to beat him. You know? Definitely not gonna be possible, but we can try. It's like. So much wind outside. Don't know if you can hear it, but holy damn. Um, I am confused. Do I just need to go that way? No, no right? I need to walk all the way around, I think. Looks like it. Now, this is one of those where you have to go like all the way around. It's really annoying. Don't like this layout. It can really fuck you over like. The difference is like 10 to 12 seconds, no, way more, it's like minutes or so. There's the bone husks. And uh, yeah, you ca cannot walk through that, that's really, I can troll you a little bit. Um, I think we're almost at the... Uh, at the sign here. Let's make sure to kill just a little bit more. Then you can either portal back to town here or you can open this lever to open this secret door. And just continue from the waypoint on like this. And because I don't have any portals I'm just gonna do this. I will need to grab a portal before I uh, do the Kitafa Stormant quest though, because that's that's uh, one where a portal scroll is going to be really useful. I kind of wish they would up the regeneration that Convocation gives early. Like, the use of Convocation is actually quite nice, but it just does so little. Right, so once you enter the square, you want to go down here. And pass through all the lethal mobs. And as you can see, all our zombies are dead again. Because they just... They, they don't have any survivability against these guys at this point. But um, they increase the damage of the zombies, you know, that's, that's really important. Because who cares about early damage from zombies when they die like this easy? It really only does anything for the bosses, but summoners don't have any problems killing bosses. Alright, so here's uh, Utala. Uh, we do this for the reward from Ban. Gives us uh, a jewel that we can use. All right. 
Um, he gives us uh, access to Assassin's Haste, which is a really nice tool to have for leveling. Like in your other slot that you're gonna get. Alright, let's grab the minion damage and light leech. And then here is the reliquary where you'll get the three double storms. And you'll kind of want to go clockwise here too. So that you can pick up all three of them in one swoop. One, there's one in each corner and the waypoint is the other corner basically. So yeah, I like that. Scroll yet, right? No. So, uh, stun, hello. So, right here, we'll need to go back to the waypoint. I mean, we could also walk, of course, but I don't feel like it. It's not too bad because we're still a little bit under leveled, and we definitely don't have. Uh, very solid damage just yet. Holy shit, it's like storming outside here. Jesus. Alright, make sure to pick up our quest rewards here. And then it's time for the last quest. Oh yes, that's a respec point too. Gives us two points for specters. Uh, means we can uh, raise the Kitalfus Heralds and here we get uh, these things. So this is a really useful one to do if you want the Pierce for example or the uh, Assassin's Haste for the utility. Uh, I'm of course gonna be grabbing the Assassin's Haste there, quite obvious why. Um, let's see, we have another augment over here. Shock again, no we don't want the shock. Alright, whatever, that's a fine one, I guess. Um, but yeah, let's go to the rune square. If you're fast enough with uh, the side quest, you can basically keep this on active, like. It stays active for 15 minutes, so generally you won't lose it. But like if you go AFK in between, you're gonna lose this zone, and that's just it's a little bit annoying because you'll have to kill a lot of mobs again. And you really don't want to do that, if possible. Um, so yeah. Alright, um, then here is the entrance to the cathedral rooftops. Where you're gonna be finding um, Kudava, and you have a nice zoom out there. Really awesome, the way they did that. I'm so sorry, Father. I'm so sorry you came to this. And 
and let's start off immediately just raising these bad boys one and two these are super tanky and really stay alive just through everything they also have inherent leech i believe so they just like don't die and they're fucking awesome just look at them they don't need any damage links early either because like they're not your damage focus of course but they still do damage which is the best thing about it let's see if we can get level 42 before we uh, have to fight Kitava so we can get some of that uh, minion life region or maybe our own life region that could also be really useful but mainly your flasks just get the hallowed life flask and the hallowed mana flask gonna happen don't think so all right whatever we'll just do it like this it's gonna be really tricky because there's a lot of stuff going on here quite obviously but um, we should be able to do this quite easily just make sure to not uh, stand too close to him because uh, he'll do like a really fast swipe if you don't look out for it but and you want to summon your spell totem as often as possible because the skeletons are just really important. They deal a lot of damage, surprisingly, of course, but he's gonna do that. And you really want to avoid these guys. And then you want to walk out if you like. That was a fast time. So that's why you don't want to stand in melee with him. Um, but like, if he does his hand like this, you want to get out of the way because he's gonna like do that charged blast at you. Um, and you really, really don't want to come too close to him because he's gonna do that fast blast. This is also a really dangerous space because um, there's a lot of mobs coming at you. And for this, generally, you want to already be in it, already have a lot of summer raging spirits active, so you can just burst this part down, right? At uh, because at like what is it, 75 percent, he drops it back. And I believe the next phase is at 60%. Alright, so not too close. He's gonna do his damage over time again. He's gonna do his blast. Now he's gonna throw at us. So we want to dodge. Alright. That's gonna be another hard phase here. Let's make sure to just start spawning our strong raging spirits. Should be the hard phase again. And we want to continue here. But he's gonna do the pull, that's the blast, he's gonna slam, and that should be Kitava. Alright, so I hope you liked Act 5, um, I hope you understood a little bit of what I'm doing. These Kitava's Heralds, they really should just be uh, not dying until, until the complete end of the map, of, of the leveling uh, period. You'll probably eventually want to link them with something, but you really don't need to, as the rest will carry you on the four link. Like this should be able to carry you. Um, and pretty much it's quite straightforward in Act 6 to 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Uh, please click the like button, subscribe, and maybe even support my Patreon if you want more summoner content from me, uh, more consistent, I should say, because, um, you know, it just makes me more motivated to like make really good quality.